you know, I want to say to you guys that there's that, that sometimes in life you have to realize there's nothing there's nothing actually wrong with you. There's something wrong with the way that you and I think. There's something often wrong with our internal programming um, that is making us think that there's something wrong with us. And I separate those two things out, which requires a fair degree of self-awareness to step away from, to, to spectate, if you like, your own thinking and realize that your thinking is the problem but you and your thinking are often not the same thing because our minds do their own things. Our minds run away with us. Our minds every day um, hook up the carriages of our trains of thought and take us to places where we didn't choose to go and don't want to go and don't want to stay. And many of us are spending time where our train of thought takes us for months and years of our life. We spend there uh, where that train takes us and we start to think that that was our choice and that place is where we live and that place is what defines us and what we believe in and it isn't. And what helped me years ago is understanding when I've been studying psychology for many years now that the split between our two minds, the conscious and subconscious mind, is 80-20. Like an iceberg, 80% of our thinking is below the surface, submerged out of sight, below the radar as it were, below consciousness. Only 20% of our thought life is done consciously, which means that the vast majority of your thinking um, is being handed to you from where your autopilot thinking settings reside in you and I as a human. And I think what I'm encouraging you to do is to try and practice, and I think that's what we have to do, practice stepping away from your autopilot settings and try to take manual control of your thought life, even a few minutes a day, and see how different that makes you feel because of the different thoughts that, that trigger, that call up different emotions. And if you can practice that for a few uh, minutes a day and then a few hours a day and then make it your new normal, I think you'll realize that you were never the one that was stuck. You were never the problem but it was this undetected, below the radar, unchallenged, uninterrupted internal hijackers that we all have that constantly take us to destinations we don't want to go to, but we keep getting stuck there and spend large amounts of our life there and therefore large amounts of our feelings and emotions and decision makings start to be built around where the hijacker took us to, as it were. So can I encourage you, and it's hard work, this is hard work, but it is so worth it. Can I encourage you to, to be more intentional, to be more aware of this subliminal, sub-level, subterranean thinking that is trying to tell you that you are the problem, that you have a condition, that you have an issue, that you are the one that's stuck, that you are the one that um, can't progress, that you are in this imprisonment, because you're not. You are not stuck. You are not the problem. Your mind, your untrained, free-range, out-of-control mind is the problem. And I want to I wanna challenge you, encourage you, if you don't believe what I'm saying to you, Experiment with it. Take a few minutes a day, like I said, and experiment with taking your mind out of autopilot and being intentional and thoughtful and careful about the thoughts you let through, the ones you block, the ones you start to give your attention to, the ones you start to allow feelings to be attached to. Start to be intentional about it for a few minutes a day. Just say, stop, I'm not doing that. I'm not going there. I think that's autopilot. I think that's a train of thought that I didn't choose to get on board. I'm not going to do that. Just for a few minutes a day at first and start to enjoy and appreciate what that hands you back in terms of empowerment and options for things you can do next that the autopilot doesn't allow for those options. And I think if you do this, what the, what the Bible says about we are transformed by the renewing of our minds becomes a practical reality to us because all transformation really happens between our ears in the renewal of the mind but the renewal of the mind 
is not an automatic happening because we are Christians or believers at all. The renewal of the mind and the process of transformation of our mind is a lifelong journey and a lifelong commitment we all have to make. And so the mechanics of it that I'm interested in are what I'm talking to you about here today. Try and get off autopilot, try and take control of your thinking and realize that you are not stuck, you are not the problem, your runaway thinking is the problem and you and your thinking most of the time are not the same thing but we want them to be. We want the subconscious mind and the conscious mind, the 80-20, to more align. And when they more align and line up, then life becomes much more comfortable, much more doable, much easier, less hesitation, less second guessing, less regret, because we have trained our subconscious mind to line up with our conscious decision-making mind and hand us the benefit of the alignment that we work very hard to achieve in our conscience, conscious, subconscious mind scenario as humans we all have to battle with every day. Think about that, work on that today.